welcome to another episode of Ron's O-Gauge Train Journey. Well, here's an update on the uh, Marks Hiawatha product. And this is the M1005 part of it. Right now it's Silver Streak and the idea was that this would be the, the diesel product and um, this is what happened um, to the red one that I got from Gary um, after I cleaned it up. The next project is this piece in here. There is not a tab. Like it is on that side. This side you can see it doesn't have, and this side does not. So, next part of the project is adding a tab there and then putting it back on. And I will clean this up a little bit and tighten some of the joints a little bit better. And then we might be off to the paint booth for the rest of the Silver Streak. The Mercury front, I debate whether I do the front, the Mercury engine front, or I wait until I get the tender. Um, I don't know. Who knows how long it will be until I get the tender. But this is this part. Okay, tabs are a problem when they break. I've had some success at doing it. Um, and what I do is I take the edge that I'm gonna have here, uh, where I'm gonna add the tab to, which I cut out, and that's just tin from the bottom of a um, hot cocoa lid. And uh, I score really, a lot, a lot of grooves there with just a plain screwdriver. And I do the same thing with this, where it's gonna connect. And then I'm gonna solder it on. And I use paste, soldering paste, flux, which helps a lot. I've learned a lot about soldering. I still don't know very much, but I know a lot more than I did. And uh, seems to work. Okay, got it in. It's always kind of hard to do, but I got it. And I'll do the job. Unfortunately, I lost this one in the process of putting it back on. So now I got another one, but that's what we do. Went to the St. Paul Depot to uh, do some research and look at some elements I would love to add to my trains. This lovely piece and this as well. Thanks for watching.